Now, if you ever had formulas scattered throughout your worksheet that were dependent upon a cell or a range of cells here that when you made the update, you had to then scroll all the way over to column high V to see the update in the formula or all the way down to row 50,000. Well, Excel has a watch window feature that you can actually watch those formulas update within this little pop-up window here when you make changes to a bunch of cells without having to scroll over or down. For example, in my five-year loan database, when I change the interest, I want to be able to find out the total interest paid on the principal amount here and the monthly payments and over 36 months. So if it's 10%, I have to scroll all the way down and see that's the total interest paid right here. I mean, I don't want to scroll all the way back up, type in 8%, then scroll all the way back down again. All the scrolling is going to make me nauseous. So what I want to do is I want to bring up that watch window. Now, there are some shortcuts, simplistic ones. In other words, you could say, well, why don't you split the window, Kurt? Well, if I hover over in the upper right-hand corner in that vertical scroll bar up at the top, you see where my pointer turns into a two-way arrow pointing in opposite directions. If I click and drag that down, it'll split the window here. So I have a top section and a bottom section. I can scroll all the way to the top. In the bottom section, scroll down just a little bit so I can see the total interest paid. So when I come up here and I change it to 12%, hit enter, I can see the bottom update as well. That's fine. I mean, that's pretty simplistic, and that may work for me. But again, I want to show you the watch window feature. Before I ditch out of this, again, remember, in the Level 1 Excel training videos, we do have our other way of splitting our windows here. But this time, it's going to be vertically when I click and drag the line here and again that's just to the right of the horizontal scroll bar just click and drag and now I have four windows one two three and four split and I can click and drag these off and let go and they disappear or I can come up here on the view tab and just click in the window group on the split button to get rid of all the splits so to bring up that watch window and to start adding formulas that I want to keep an eye on when I update my percentage here you want to come up here click on the formulas tab to the formula auditing group and click on watch window Come down here, click on the Add Watch, and it says, OK, what do you want to watch? I can click the Collapse Dialog Box button and then go down and select it, or I can type in the cell here, but I'm going to go ahead and scroll down, click on that cell that I want to watch, go ahead and hit Enter on the keyboard to pop it back open, and then click Add, and it's going to be watching that value here. So I can scroll back up to the top. I can add additional cells, click Add, and, and type in what I want to watch or just click on the collapsible dialog box, click in another cell here, but I'm going to go ahead and hit escape, click cancel, and say this is the only one I want to watch. So what's going to happen is when I update the interest rate at 14%, hit enter, notice that the value changes here and I don't have to scroll down. You can add many formulas here to the watch window as you want, scattered throughout your workbook. And then if you want to get rid of them, you can go ahead and select them and click on delete the watch, and then close out when you're done. Finally, I want to cover the Evaluate Formula feature. It's basically an easy way to view and change all parts of your formula that isn't readily accessible. Meaning that if I come in here in this formula, I come up here in the formula bar, it's the PMT function, the payment function that's based upon three cells here. Well, we've got D4. What's D4 referring to? And it's divided by 12. What's the value of D5 and what's the value of D3? Well, obviously, since my database is so organized and tight here, I can just look over here. Well, there's, there's D3, D4, and D5. But again, if this is scattered throughout the workbook and I want to find the values without having scrolling all over the place, I can do an evaluation on this formula just by clicking within the cell here of the formula I want to evaluate, and then come up here to the formula auditing group and click on evaluate formula. So there it is, just like I see it up in the formula bar. And then when I click on the evaluate button, it'll actually give me the value of the cell that it's referring to D4, which is 0.14 or 14 percent. So that way I don't have to scroll down if it wasn't right there. Like let's say the interest rate was in column IV. I don't want to jump all the way over there. I can just click on evaluate and go, oh, somebody typed in, uh, looks like 0.14. And that's why I'm getting these crazy high interest rates that I'm paying out on, at least the total at the end of the uh, 36 month period. Then I can click evaluate again. And what it does is remember this was divided by 12. So we had D4, which was 14% divided by 12. So it steps into it or evaluates it and gives us the results, which is, again, 14 or 0.14 divided by 12 months. And so you're going to be paying monthly an interest rate of 0.011666. Click Evaluate again, and it keeps that up. And it goes to the next process, which is D5 within the formula. And D5 is referring to 36 months. Go ahead and click Evaluate again. And then it takes us to the next level. It says, look, D3 is referring to the value here, 24,000. Click Evaluate again, gives us the total here of $820.26 right there, and then I can start over again. 
So again, the whole purpose of evaluating a formula is again, like the watch window, you're not having to scroll all over the worksheet unless you have it as organized as I do where you can just go over one column and look and see the values right there next to them. But it'll actually pull in the values of the actual cells there. Instead of D4, it'll give us 0.14.